first lockdown was more about, for me, was more about uh, contemplation and stillness. And so, uh, you know, I really had a, a profound experience of the first lockdown and then that second, third lockdown. There was this other thing that came up from that space of, um, from that more spacious experience of life. And there was like, there was this other thing which was, had an energy to it. And I, I thought that, that that is curiosity. So, and from curiosity, which for me, my understanding of it is how um, in curiosity, I, there is a space of not knowing and uh, a space of potential for seeing something is I'm not even waiting to see it. I'm just, uh, I'm posing and I'm allowing something to occur. And then uh, I, <laughs> and then I get interested. I get, uh, I wanna learn, I want. So there is a learning, this is my experience of uh, curiosity. So I was like quite excited. I thought, yeah, this is a nice little, topic and uh, <laughs> and then uh, I was um, uh, offered to speak with um, Janet and I thought I haven't seen Janet for a long time that's that's a great opportunity to to connect and to meet up and to chat and to see you know check in with each other and uh, so we did and so uh, when we did I I wanted to hear where, where she's, you know, what, what was going on for, for Janet. I, I was really, I, wonder, I was really interested because I, I hadn't seen her for a while. And, uh, um, and uh, as I was listening, I realized that she was coming uh, from a different angle to the talk, you know? And uh, I was trying to find a way to, you know, so that we could meet and, uh, and have a common ground in a way. And, um, and so we could talk about and kind of bounce off each other and, you know, as you do in a talk. So, and I was thinking, and I, could, I was aware of the fact that as I was listening, um, I had to pause and kind of tune in because I, I was hearing something that I, that I, I, I wasn't expecting because I, I, I thought um, she was thinking about something and I was thinking about something else. And then, and I thought, what is the common denominator? And, uh, and then, and we had that conversation, didn't we, Janet? What was it for, like for you? Because it is relevant, by the way, you know. Yeah, <laughs> um, yeah it, it was it was an interesting conversation because um, when we were having that conversation, I could tell you were not comfortable. I could see you working things out in your head, and I'm just like, because huh, in my head. Aaron had said, "Oh, Janet, do you fancy speaking at the conference?" And I'm like, "Yeah, this would be great." And so. It took me a while to actually think about what I wanted to speak about because I wasn't sure. Um, in the last 18 months, two years, I've been doing a contract as a probation officer. And for people who don't know what a probation officer is, I supervise and manage offenders in the community. So they're not in prison, they're in the community. And ordinarily we speak with uh, people who've committed offences face to face in person. But since lockdown had happened, everything had to be by the telephone. And that was the first time ever within the probation context that we're working with people. Some I've never met. They're being released from prison or they're being sentenced and I've never met them. And all I have is the telephone and that conversation. And it was the listening. And that's why I said about listening, because I had to, all I had was my presence, was my voice, and to listen. And 
establish rapport with some of these, you know, I say amazing guys. When you look back on it, when I look back and I'm thinking, you know what, this is such a gift to be present in the moment, to listen to where a person is at in that moment with no agenda. And I'm thinking, and, and it was that because, you know, everybody who I work with in a work context has committed an offence and they've been sentenced. And so to be able to listen without prejudice, without prejudging, without thinking, oh, what's he going to be like when he, you know, when he comes on the phone, it was completely being present. And I thought, that's brilliant. That's, that's what I'm going to talk about. And when Liliana and when uh, Aaron said, oh, you fancy speaking Liliana? I'm like, oh, I love Liliana. <laughs> and I'd seen curiosity and I thought, oh, this mesh is so great together because when you're curious, you ask questions, then you have to listen. So that's how I saw it. So when I'm coming to Liliana to have this original conversation, like Liliana and it's this and it's that. And I could see Liliana was like, and I'm like, okay, <laughs> yes. this isn't going to go the way I think it's going to go. 